All right, what you see here is a Harbor Breeze notice ceiling fan. I installed this in my dad's house in a guest bedroom. Originally, this is a bedroom that was being occupied, but now it's not since my dad's ex-girlfriend and his and her daughter moved out. So, yeah. Even though this room's not being used, I figured maybe go ahead and install it either way because this room could always end up getting used again if somebody was to like stay over and such. It's probably gonna end up being a guest bedroom, so I figured maybe just put it up that way if whenever it gets used or something, at least the fans are already here. But um yeah, it definitely goes really nicely with this bedroom. I do like how it looks in here. It definitely does the job. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. The pull chains are not original. These are replacement ones. As well as the mounting bracket. So that's why there's only one screw on it. Because the one that you saw it was... For some reason, it doesn't line up with this one 100%. So... That's why it's like that. But the fan's not going anywhere. It's up there securely, so. And there's the Harbor Breeze logo. I do like the driftwood blades that it has. Instead of it being bleached out. Definitely gives it more of an updated look and also it's not something you see all the time. Well, um, yeah, let me go ahead and turn on the light. Definitely gives off good light for this bedroom. Right now for low. It does have a bit of a hum to it, but that's mostly because of the mounting bracket not being secured 100%, but also it's flush mounted. And it's also a cheaper made fan from Woe, so there's that. But it's not overbearing or anything, so.
All right, now for medium. Out of fans, I thought of putting in here were like a Huntington 3, um, a Landmark 3, all of which in white, of course, but I figured I'd give this a try. I heard that these were pretty decent and they definitely are decent fans. And for the price, they're definitely not a bad option. If you just need something that does the job. Yeah, it's definitely doing a good job on medium. It's moving a good breeze. And plus, the, the room has central air, so it's not like it needs something super powerful in here. This room will definitely benefit more with having a Panama in here. It's this. I'd rather not have a bigger room if I'm only here occasionally. Whereas this room could be used for if there's multiple people staying over. If the other room was the same size, it's a different story, but... Yeah, the master bedroom, the one that has that chandelier, not the chandelier, that lamp that's on the angle ceiling. If I was to put anything in there, I'd probably just go get one of these and brush nickel and no, honestly. Again, just something that moves the air around. But that room, I don't see it being used anytime soon, whereas this room, I definitely do see it getting used, so. Plus, I already had this fan here, so. I figured maybe just to go ahead and put it up. Right, not for high. Definitely hums a bit more on the high speed, unfortunately. But um, at least uh, the airflow kind of eliminates that sound a little. I feel it's more so due to the fact that it's flush mounted and also the canopy doesn't have it 100% secured in the sense that only two screws are holding it instead of four of it, of them and such. But again, it's not going anywhere. I made sure it's 100% it's tight. It's just, it doesn't have the other two screws. I'm not sure if that would really make any difference or not, but I do know it did have a bit of a hum when I tested it in the basement.
for the light. Yeah, like the high speed on this is actually a good high speed for it. It's not like a slower one like some newer fans have. But yeah, I do like the look of it a lot. It reminds me of like an early 2000s fan from like Harbor Breeze or from Walmart or Wilhelm Bees and such. It is more a knockoff of a Hunter fan. I forget which one it is though. For a fan that was just put up, it definitely does have a decent spin down to it. All right, now for reverse.
All right, now for medium. Now for high. All right, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.